Where do I start? Okay. I decided in December of 2020 that I was going to leave Chicago. I have been wanting to leave Chicago for quite some time. To be honest, the pandemic and being locked down for over a year at this point and living alone, it's been really heavy um, on a mental level. And so I said, you know what? I think it's my environment. I think I need to change my environment. And so that's what I'm doing. How do I feel? It's like I have so many pieces that I wanna share about how I got here. I'm leaving Chicago and I'm really excited. I can't believe it. No, I can believe it. I can believe it because this is exactly what I asked for. This is what I've been working towards for the past few months. I literally just made it happen. I'm moving into my dream apartment community. I'm like the, the perfect neighborhood. And right now there are things that are going on that are a little bit out of my control, but that just comes with the journey and the process of moving and relocating. But the things that I can control have been going very well. It's what I've been asking for and manifesting and receiving and all of the things. I will say that I'm a bit tired. I have a lot to do. My plan is to sell all of my furniture here in Chicago in this apartment and pack up my car with just my clothes, my shoes, bags, which I don't have a lot of anyway, to be honest with you. Like, I think I'm gonna show you guys like how I pack my apartment and what I'm taking with me. My plan is to just pack up all of my clothes, which I've done most of already. I just have a few pieces left that I'm leaving out because I still have nine days left here in Chicago. I really am trying to narrow it down to one big suitcase, one carry-on suitcase, a big duffel bag for my clothes and shoes. We're gonna make it happen, you'll see. And then I'm just gonna have a few boxes of like household stuff and and it's very very like minimal all of my furniture is getting e being either sold or given away i have like a big box of stuff that i'm giving away for like household kitchenware all of that stuff but otherwise like i'm getting rid of giving away throwing away most of my things and honestly it feels really freeing um, I practice minimalism and I always tell people that minimalism isn't a one-time transaction and so there's gonna be times like right now when I'm moving where I really have to go through all of my things every every single thing item that I own it's been a journey for the last few weeks the thing is I started this process before I officially knew that I was moving to my new city but that was just half how high my faith has been throughout this whole process once i made the choice once i said this is what i'm going to do and put my head down and took action towards it every single day it worked out exactly how it needed to and how i envisioned so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and show you guys my packing process so far and then maybe in the end or the next vlog who knows you'll see like the actual me moving in. I'll just kind of show you guys what makes sense, okay? So come along for this journey with your girl. I am really, really excited for this next chapter. And I just feel really blessed and grateful and excited. And I cannot wait to share with all of you. This stuff underneath is basically a box of like kitchenware and just like household items that I'm giving away. I'm gonna take to Goodwill. This box is the box that I'm actually taking with me to my new home. It has my herbs and then like, you know, like rice and stuff that's in jars. And then I have my like glass teapot and that's what I'm taking with me. The bathroom, I'm pretty much throwing everything away in there. I'm keeping this. So this is pretty much all of the bathroom stuff that I'll be taking. And then this is just like all the moving stuff that I need. So I'm selling the desk. This stuff is in a vacuum. These are in vacuum sealed bags. I'm actually getting rid of this table. I'm just gonna put it outside in the alleyway. I bought it like secondhand and it, it served its purpose, but it only has three chairs. But this little bot or little bag is like a little picnic bag, but I'm using it to obviously pack stuff. So I have just like miscellaneous household items like my scale. Um, a few purses, I have like my tripod 
and just like miscellaneous items like that. In the living space, I am taking my TV with me. I am selling this TV stand. I'm also selling the coffee table and that side table over there. I am getting rid of this couch because look at the damage that was done to it. Enough said. I'm getting rid of the rug just because it's white and I've used it for like two and a half, three years. I'm getting rid of that thing. And then my pole, I have to figure out how to take it apart fully. Taking the vacuum. And then this box is like household stuff. So like my toolbox, um, my weights and workout stuff. And then I have a couple items down here, like my foam roller that I'm taking with me and my weights that will just go somewhere in my car. I'm selling my bedroom set, including the headboard. I am getting rid of this dresser. I think I'm gonna get rid of the lamp. I might keep it. It just depends on how much space I have. This suitcase are the majority of my clothes. Like I have them in those vacuum seal bags that I showed you earlier in the living room, but that fit in this size suitcase. So there's, I believe two large vacuum seal bags in there of my clothes. And then I have like maybe five or six pairs of shoes in there and a few like hoodies on top. So that's like stuffed heavy to the max. And then in this one, I have, I have two of the vacuum seal bags on one side. These are packing cubes that I may use to go into this, which is a duffel bag and it's humongous. You see, it's going from this and it opens up into a huge duffel bag. So then I have a backpack that's full of, I have a few books in here, a couple of purses in there, and then I have a pair of shoes. And then there's a little bit space left here, so I'll probably just stuff whatever I can there and so yeah that's pretty much how i am packing i'm packing um very strategically very like i'm saving a lot of space i really am like i said planning to only have that one big suitcase the carry-on size suitcase and then the big duffel bag for clothes and shoes and bags and then everything else will be in boxes and i really hope i have no more than four boxes and then just like little miscellaneous items like that. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm really trying to get used to filming again. I think I'm more comfortable with it. have five days left until I am officially out of this apartment so wild like my life is just like if I could describe my life in one word right now abundant abundant yep that's it hey guys I'm feeling pretty good today Today is my first day of my new job that I'm starting. It is a remote position with an amazing company um, and I'm really excited. The job that I have is like exactly what I've been looking for. I feel like my entire career, I guess you can say my entire corporate career, separate of my own business. I mean, just what I'm doing and the mission of the company is directly aligned with my personal values. It's kind of crazy because I was supposed to start last week, but the location of the company richardson texas they got shut down from the winter storms so that pushed my start date to today i am moving this week so yeah <laughs> i'm in the midst of just like packing up everything and taking care of like any miscellaneous things i need to take care of i feel very self-possessed and relaxed i have four days until i leave this apartment Okay, I'm actually really, really hyper right now because I have coffee, but yeah.
11 a.m. on Thursday and as you can see my car is packed to the brim and I'm so tired but we have coffee waiting on moms to get in the car and then 13 hour drive <laughs> 